This is MFR Off-Road Rider, back with another video. I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my video content. Give me a thumbs up and all the positive comments. I'm headed into uh, my hometown where I grew up in, uh, Ferndale, California, in Northern California, and uh, show you a few uh, sites and things to check out if you ever come up this way. So yeah, let's go get started. It's a little windy today. Fog's coming in, so yeah, it's pretty windy. The time the fog comes rolling in, it brings a lot of wind with it. Hopefully uh, my dead cat on my mic's holding up and working well. Welcome to Ferndale. Yeah, I got out the KTM. I figured I better get uh, a couple more rides in, get the oil flowing through it. It's been a while since I've been on it. Uh, I didn't want to put too many miles on it because uh, I'm getting ready to sell it as soon as I get it finished paying it off. Probably regret regret selling it but uh, yeah it's just a bit much I can't do any real hardcore off-roading because of the weight and everything and I've been doing a lot of videos uh, by myself that's a no brand burger stand back there uh, really good burgers it's a small little place it's kind of like the size of a uh, one of those uh, food trucks you know uh, and off to your right here is uh, where I went to high school, Ferndale Union High School. I guess it's not Union anymore. Fortuna High School now. I don't know why it's not Union, but it used to be Union anyway. But yeah, and then uh, the big gymnasium, home of the Wildcats. Got pretty nice tennis courts and uh, gym. And then on over there, you got the uh, fairgrounds. That's the horse race track. Uh, they didn't have the uh, the fair last year, uh, first year, and uh, I don't even know a long, long time. I think it was the first time in over 100 years. I think they haven't had the Humboldt County Fair. So it was a shock to a lot of people, but you know, to be on to be safe, you know, they decided not to do it. But boy, they lost a lot of revenue and stuff. So, yeah. I'll show you a little bit about what it's all about. Uh, here what they got they normally have the uh, the Ferris wheel and all the rides are set up right out in that field there and then they put a lot of uh, displays and things like that in the buildings up there you know it's the lighthouse here they got from I can't remember where it was but uh, they brought the lighthouse in and put it here because it was getting dilapidated and falling down and stuff and so they decided to put it there that's one of the main attractions you get uh, when you first come here you'll know you're at the fairgrounds by the lighthouse can't remember where it was out at Centerville or somewhere but anyway they moved it here and placed it right there They have horse racing and all kind of stuff. Pretty cool fair. Attracts a lot of people. And if you want to come and camp, you can stay right here. Kind of a little campground, I guess, or RV place. more houses going in when I was a kid this was all open fields you know like it's crazy 
and then when I was a kid this used to be the Navy housing or na Navy based housing here uh, now it's uh, just low income housing I think or something you can buy the houses or whatever it was a Coast Guard for a while but then uh, then it went away but This, this town of Ferndale, uh, it's kind of, kind of, uh, it's got the nickname the Victorian Village because they've a lot of the old Victorian homes and things like that. Oh, well, that's right, spring break. That's why there's no kids. But this is the uh, grade school that I went to, Ferndale Elementary School. It's where I went to from kindergarten to. Uh, Eighth grade. They filmed, uh, like, I think, I think they filmed uh, three movies here in this town. Uh, they did uh, one way back, it wasn't too popular. It's called Death in Canaan. And then uh, they filmed uh, Salem's Lot here. And uh, I can't remember the name of the other one. Gosh, it was with, uh, oh my God, I can't think of it. I'll post it when I think of it, but anyway, I uh, can't remember the third one. So yeah, there's a lot of, this town's well known for in this area you got the Victorian village in here and then the Ivanhoe those are two real popular places to eat That was my dad's last house, was right there. And this is Fireman's Park, where they play Little League and things like that, softball once in a while. And then this was the, when I went, when I was in Cub Scouts, this was a little place where we went to Cub Scouts right there. The fig twig for uh, wedding receptions and things like that. Daycare, Ferndale Children's Center. Some old churches. I don't even know if they use this one anymore. I don't think they do. The old steeple. Ferndale Music Company. I don't even know what these are for. And the most famous place is right here. I'll stop and show you guys. It's a uh, gingerbread mansion. It's a really nice B&B. &B. You can go like you can schedule to have like a a fancy tea party and things like that uh, you can stay the night it's one of the most popular uh, B&B's in Ferndale in this area it's well known for it but yeah there's a couple more B&B's too in this town Catholic Church. Oh, deer going through the street. Across the street, the deer. Deer is lost. It's 
going headed for Main Street. It's lost. Police department. Trying to find a hiding pot spot. This is where I used to work. First job I got out of high school, Valley Lumber. It wasn't called Valley Lumber at the time. Changed names, changed owners, but worked in the lumber yard for about a year and a half. Started working there before my senior year of high school. In the big town hall right here. And I'll take you down uh, down Main Street a little bit. Show you the. Uh, there's another big uh, big B and B uh, bed and breakfast. It's called the Shaw House. Uh, you can stay there or you can. Uh, they, they do like wedding photos and things like that there as well. Uh, my son and his wife had uh, some wedding photos taken in their uh, yard there, the Shaw House. The Shaw House Inn. But anyway, this is it right here. It's pretty cool. It's pretty well landscaped and everything. Big old house, Victorian house. I don't know what they're building there. Something. Good pizza right here, the Pizza Co. Ferndale Pizza Company. Red Front Store. Good places to eat. Abraxas Leather Place. Pretty cool. The old Rep Ferndale Repertory Theater used to have live uh, plays and stuff there. This is the way uh, the delivery trucks have to park because there's not any park. You said they just straddle the middle of the street. Forgot to show you the last house I lived in. It's right down here, a couple blocks from the from the elementary school. So it's a nice little short walk to the elementary school for me and my brother. Yeah, it was that light lavender house right there. That's where I used to live. Pretty cool. Changed it. The looks quite a bit. Painted it and everything. Then you got the Ferndale Museum right up here. There's a nice Victorian house too. I knew he lived there when I was a kid. You got the Ferndale Museum right here. A lot of the uh, Ferndale histories in there. It's a pretty cool place. Check out if you get a chance. Where the Wells Fargo is used to be the uh, the little burger place when I was a kid. We used to go there for lunch. 
Valley Lumber, yeah, that's where I used to work when I was a kid. Now we're on Rose Avenue. My grandmother used to live on Rose Avenue. She used to live in this brown house right here. It hasn't changed much. She lived there for years. I'll run up here and show you my uh, the first house I lived in when we first moved to Ferndale. This house has really changed. Can't even recognize it anymore. But anyway, this was it right here. It really redid it change the looks no actually it was this one okay that's why it looks so different but yeah this is the one they re-sided it and it looks so much different than when I lived there So that's a little taste of uh, the town I grew up in. If you ever get out in Northern California, you need to check out the little town of Ferndale, California. It's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of things to look at and see, so yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers again for uh, watching my videos and and giving me comments and all the positive feedback I get. Uh, hope you enjoy my videos and uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for my release of my next video. So yeah, until the next time, this is MFR Off-Road Rider. See you on the next one. Later.